Imagine an island where lush forests meet crystal clear rivers, where every turn unveils a waterfall and the warmth of its people make you feel at home. This isn't just a destination, it is Dominica, the nature island of the Caribbean, and it completely stole my heart. From the moment I stepped off the plane, Dominica felt different. The air was fresher, the colors were more vibrant, and the pace of life was slower, more intentional. Over the next days, I explored the lush forests, cascading waterfalls, bathed in hot springs, and met people who made me feel like family. But let me take you back to the beginning, because this is a journey you need to see for yourself. Here we are! Dominica! Country number 51! <laughs> let me tell you something. God is so amazing. Today, everything, nobody has asked me any questions. Dominica, number 51. Dominica, number 51. Dominica, Dominica, number 51. The Commonwealth of Dominica, or something like that. Not to be confused with Dominican Republic. So this is Dominica. Guess what I am? You know, with all the bags and walking and traveling the world alone. A strong black woman <laughs> so this is the Atlantic Ocean and how you can tell the difference between Atlantic and Caribbean Sea is Atlantic Ocean is always very rough look at that they actually had to put barriers there so this is the east side of the island oh my god and I'm really just saying like oh my god god Kinda, not just an expression because the guy just carried me to the junction that goes to where I'm going for free he didn't charge me he just picked me up dropped me here and he was when I asked how much he was like oh, wow I told you I'm loving Dominica already <laughs> nice I got myself a sugar cane now you need a it's taller than me yeah you are taller it's taller than me <laughs> This is definitely the first country I've come into. Went to the garden and got myself a sugar cane. This has never happened before and they just told me just go get whatever you get on the garden. So there are like limes there, passion fruits and stuff. So I got sugar cane. Wow, I'm already loving Dominica. How many times have I said that? Dominica is called the nature island for a reason. Every trail I walked revealed something new. A waterfall tucked into the forest rivers winding through valleys and even natural hot springs waiting to be discovered so let me tell you dominica has a mind of its own when it comes to weather a lot right now it's raining like crazy so my plan today was to go and show you why this place is called the nature's island but it's already proving itself with all the amount of rain and just a minute ago it was sunny i was sweating that is how crazy it is but the higher you go the cooler it becomes of course and now we are up a little bit high in the mountains so there's that but i'm still gonna show you why this island is called the nature's island because believe me it is so beautiful it is honestly my honest opinion one of the most beautiful places nature wise i have ever seen after visiting over 50 countries that is my true review so it is fresh water So if you're brave enough you can swim but it's quite deep so be careful even if you're kayaking if you don't not a good swimmer probably wear a life jacket or something because apparently it gets as deep as 60 feet at the deepest level so yeah that's like how many of me that's like 30 of me not 30 i'm not too fit though <laughs> should i remove my shoes and go in i'm tempted This is one of the most common things you'll see here in Dominica. A lot of water trickling down the mountains. A lot of spring water which is good for you to drink. You know when you go to the supermarket and buy spring water here? You just stop at the side of the road with your bottle and get free, fresh spring water. Okay. This is River Layu. You can see how beautiful and how wide it is. And then it pours into the ocean on that side so this is the indian river deepest river in dominica 
is also up there where they shot Pirates of the Caribbeans in Dominica. Right, so this is Bon F waterfall and it's about 15 minutes from where you park. Depending on your pace, it can be a little less than that. So make sure you find it because it's one of the hidden gems. A lot of people don't come here because all the way north to the what I'm calling a toe because this country's map looks like a big foot, <laughs> big foot foot with one big toe. But they call it the nose. For me, it will always be the toe. You'll find Buane waterfalls. So this is Emerald Falls you're going to. It's very famous with people, so expect crowds over here. The fun of this waterfall is actually coming behind the waterfall. So instead of just seeing it from the front, you see it from the back. Look at that. <laughs> This is the Spani Falls and you walk a little bit to get here but it is so clear, the water is so beautiful. This is just one of the waterfalls, so it's a twin waterfall. So you'll hear maybe locals referring to it as twin falls, it's this one. But if you're brave enough, you'll be able to get to the second one and I'm gonna show you that. But this one is so beautiful and here you can swim, the water is so clear, so blue and uh, it's just amazing. Dominica is definitely the nature island. I know I've said that a thousand times, but that's why we're here, no? I could do this all day, literally. Let me now show you the twin part of the twin falls. <laughs> and you've got to be careful. So if you see these green stones, like this one, Those ones are very slippery, so you have to be very careful. to access because it's just by the road is a couple of steps and you're here so these ones do not miss okay all of them do not miss but this one especially Hi, hi. <laughs> hi, 
So my guide chef is also a herbalist and he knows like all plants in the world probably and he will make you the best herbal tea ever like ever you don't say ever Trafalgar waterfalls is one of the most famous ones very close to Rozu and if you want to swim or dip it up in the water you have to climb the rocks a little bit and come here there is a current in some other pool up there actually I saw people all the way by the waterfall so if you want to keep scaling the rocks you can do that but it's magnificent on its own so they come from two different rivers and then they join into one river down there which is Quite something, right? <laughs> Dominica isn't just about its landscapes, it's the people who make it unforgettable. I spent a few days in the Kalinago territory learning about their history and experiencing their hospitality. <laughs> mm. So they use this to cook meat? Yeah. What is it called? I know the smell. Oh my god, I'm so happy already to be here. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it's already growing. Do you know how to plant? Yep. You take a little seed and mm. dig it in it and, uh, and, and cover it and water it. Okay. I'm staying in, with one family that is really large and community-like. I really feel like a member of the family and I've been here one day it's just one day right now and we are visiting their farm today and he has this vision to build this place to be an eco farm tourism ecotourism it's gonna be really beautiful ecotourism mm. agrotourism uh, yeah and if a naturalist is searching for a place mm -hmm. then this is the best place to be um. so if you are a naturalist mm. if you're searching for your fresh water your fresh fruits then morocco paradise is the place to be wow Yeah, so you know those things we saw just now by the road? He made them. <laughs> and apparently he does this on his free wow. time. And, and he's one of the artists in the Kalinago territory. Wow. So this one are you making for somebody? or? No, I was making it with. Uh, yeah, and anybody wants it. Oh. Uh, make different styles. Uh. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Iroma. All my jewelry are locally made. They're made out of the local seeds from the trees. They're all natural colors. They are no painting. Well, um, you know, my name is uh, Gerard Langley, of course, and I'm from the Kalinago territory. Um, you know, as I said, the Europeans knew us as the Caribs, the fierce, warlike, and cannibalistic people. But of course, no, we are not warlike. Uh, we are very friendly people, and um, you know, we. Uh, only was, you know, our, great, our grandparents who were only defending the territories and so on. And um, so we had to fight back. So, of course, we are here today. Um, we are the descendants of these brave warriors and we are here. Um, we still have, we still keep the culture, of course, of our forefathers and um, the song, the dance, uh, the rituals, uh, the ceremonies and so on. Um, and we are the Karina Cultural Group and we have been trying our best for the past 40 years to make sure that the you know, we keep uh, the, the tradition going. And we would like to invite, you know, for the audience, people from the outside, uh, um, to come and, you know, visit Dominica, visit the Kalinago territory, and to have a, a wonderful experience, of course, with us Kalinago people, and of course, the Karina Cultural Group at the Karina Cultural Village. <laughs> Oh, 
On the other side of the island from the Kalinago territory is Rozu. It is more than just the capital of Dominica, it is the island's beating heart. Its colorful streets, lively markets and historic charm draw you in, making you feel like part of the island's rhythm. Walking through the town, I found stories in every corner, from the vibrant mirrors to the bustling market stalls. So this here is a public market and it's open mostly on Saturdays, it's the main day. So you can see a lot of stalls are open and you can buy everything. There's a food section, there's a fruit section, fruits and veggies of course, and there are clothes section as well. in harmony. This event is called Tan in the City, uh -huh. but we play for other functions and this okay. year, if you live on the island, yeah. uh, you can follow us on your Facebook uh -huh. and you, we will let you know where we are playing. Where you're, okay. So because there are cruise ships in town, as you can see, there are these places here that you can buy uh, souvenirs and right at the waterfront you can see the post office and the court, high court. Kenya, Kenya, Africa. Africa. Oh, yeah. come, come, give me a skin, man. Come, come, come. <laughs> That's my sister, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime you come in. To get a bird's eye view of Rizu, you can head over to the Mount Bruce Garrison, which used to be a fort where you will be able to see a really nice aerial view of Rizu and the cruise ships. And this isn't all there is to Dominica. From the red rocks to old forts, every experience felt like uncovering a new chapter of Dominica's story. And then there were the beaches, each one a peaceful escape. But the real highlight? Scott's Head, where two worlds of water meet in stunning harmony. So yes, this is Scott's Head. It's actually very amazing. Look at that. Caribbean, Atlantic. <laughs> you have to make sure you come here. <laughs> See. The beaches here are black sand. As you can see, but still very pretty. This here is Mero Beach. Obviously, I'm not dressed for the beach. I'm just passing by. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it's a black sand beach, like most of the others here, because of the volcanoes. This is a life. <laughs> the best of nature behind me. You can see the mountain. This is crazy. Selfie with a cannabis plant because I cannot do this in so many places. <laughs> Make sure you check out Champagne Reef. And if you like snorkeling, just right there, you can snorkel. As you can see, there are people already coming from snorkeling. Very, very close. And it's one of the best snorkeling spots here in Dominica. Where's the restaurant? Bubble Beach. It bubbles and it's completely hot. You can see. Makes it like if I do this. <laughs> One of Dominica's best kept secret is its sulfur springs. The bubble beach bubbles because there is 
a lot of pressure from the ground that heats up the water and it gets so hot sometimes you can't actually step in it but the water from the ocean cools it giving it such a good mix towards the mountain you can see a lot of sulfur springs and they are littered all across the island from the south to the middle of the island all the way to the north some of them are hot springs others are cold springs you can pay to enter if you want to I already said welcome to Dominica, but welcome to the best parts of Dominica. And this is this hot spring. And if you really want to enjoy yourself, come at night because there are not many people. And also, you get like the variance between the cold temperature and when you go in and it's really hot because in the day it's like 40 degrees and then 40 degrees water is it's not nice. But if you only have daytime, make sure you come and stay just a few minutes. Okay, so this is Secret Glossa. There is another one that more people know about. But this is the real, real hidden gem. After spending a lot of time in the hot springs, it is recommended that you take a cold shower just so you can regulate your body temperature just before you go out. Cold sulfur springs. So unlike the others, these ones are cold, but rich in minerals. Ooh, they are bubbling! Oh, this is like a natural cold jacuzzi. And there's a bench over there where you can go in. <laughs> touch it. Can we touch it? If my finger gets cut off, <laughs> what's it bubbling from? Pressure from the Earth's crust. There was a movie that said like for berries, red, wild berries, red is okay, blue is not okay. Blue is poisonous. Is it true? Berries that I didn't have to pay for because it's just green gold. <laughs> and Dominica keeps on giving. Each side of the island, you'll find another wonder and a new incredible view. Honestly, this country is so beautiful. So, yeah, I'm literally standing on Bigfoot's toe right now. See, it's a big one. Bigfoot's toe. In Dominica. <laughs> <sighs> Look at that. Wouldn't you also want to live here? Mm, and be plastered somewhere on the side of that mountain. You know? Sunset. The clouds on top there. The blue sky. The beach. The blue sea on this other side. It is amazing. Dominica is amazing you have to come to dominica the commonwealth of dominica hey, i'm living here from now on it's so beautiful i don't want to go <laughs> you will find me here when you get here <laughs> wow this place is so beautiful See that? It's literally just a red rock. So this is the red rock and it's on the eastern side of the island in Kalebishi. And this is the Atlantic Ocean. Beautiful.
This is my new home. I don't know where everything will fit, but... See? It's white now. <laughs> you can do yoga. And I fit here. <laughs> Surprisingly, you can jump in this. <laughs> yes. This is the advantage of being short. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be able to stand <laughs> He can't even stand. <laughs> we'll just try and stand completely like... <laughs> try and stand like this. <laughs> and I could jump in there. <laughs> so easy you could jump in here. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Fort Charlie. One thing about forts, they always have the most amazing views. And of course, because of all the mountains and the waterfalls, it is so easy to forget that you're on an island. But the moment you go to a place such as the Red Rock or Fort Charlie, you're reminded that Dominica is an island in its own right. One of the things you'll find here in Dominica a lot is bakeries. And we're standing in front of one. It doesn't even look a match. It just smells so good, I want to know what that is. <laughs> it's coconut cake and it's fresh from the oven. It's really hot, but it smells so good. Mm. Mm. This is a bake. Very common Caribbean. It's kind of the same idea of bacon shark in Trinidad, but now this one is cheese and onion and smaller. So I got to try mahi mahi for the first time. Mahi mahi. Mm. And eating the best of nature too. <laughs> Leaving Dominica, I realized this island had given me more than just memories. It reminded me to slow down, connect with nature, and cherish the warmth of community. It's a place I'll carry with me always. If you're looking for a destination that will steal your heart too, Dominica is waiting for you.